Hey, welcome to the Old Stogies Uncut podcast, brought to you by the Old Stogie Company Mobile Cigar Lounge. I'm Randy. And I'm Shane. And we are coming to you from the Mobile Cigar Lounge. We're going to be talking a bit about whiskey. Cigars. A little bit of everything. And a whole lot of nothing. Yep. And you don't want to miss a minute of it. So find a comfortable place to sit, pour a drink, light a stick, because we're going to be coming at you. Stand by. Guys, this segment of the show was brought to you by 705 Designs. Now listen, if you're a business owner, you've got to cut through all the static of all the competitors and get your message to the right people at the right time. 705 can do that for you. There's some great people. They're going to do great work in your marketing aspect and your website aspect. You really need to go check them out. I promise you will not be disappointed. S-E-V-E-N-O-F-I-V-E designs.com. They produce our show. They're good folks. Check them out. 705designs.com. Hey, welcome back. We are the Old Stogies, and this is the Old Stogies Uncut Podcast. I'm Randy. And I'm Shane. Hey, Shane Anakins. How are you? It's not a thing. <laughs> it's always been a thing. No. Oh, I'm pretty sure. It's been I'm a pretty... while, hasn't it? It has been a while, yeah. yeah. A lot of shit going on. Yeah, lots and lots and lots. But before we get into that, let's talk about where we're recording our podcast from today. On my big deck. Yes. I said it right this time. You did say it right this time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Autocorrect doesn't help me when I try and do that. I'm text, sure it so. doesn't. Autocorrect is not your fiend. Mm-mm. <laughs> Or if you're trying to sell a truck, right, Randy? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or if you're trying to sell a truck. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, Curtis. Um, but yeah, this is nice out here, man. I mean, we're like up in the trees and there's birds and... Second story deck. Yeah. I said it right again. You uh, did. There might be a moment. Well, there could be. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be disappointed if there wasn't. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, this is this is really good. And you've done well with this. Thank you. I didn't build any of it. Yeah. So if you hear random things like that, like cars and lawnmowers and, you know, birds and, birds and uh, people screaming at each other, it's because we are actually outside uh, in, in South Texas. You know, and it seemed like the right thing to do just for this episode. You know, usually yeah. we sit in the back of the lounge. Yeah. People don't realize what it takes to get the lounge ready. Right. That's like a three-day ordeal. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, we got, we got it all cleaned up because we're doing a, a, a small event tomorrow. Absolutely. So we just thought, yeah. you know what, let's just go ahead and do it out here on the deck. Enjoy the nice breeze. Yeah. Uh, the view. Um, yeah, it's really random nice. Animals. R- random animals. Random animals. <laughs> We yeah. have a 130-pound black lab laying at my feet. Yeah. Whose is that, by the way? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. My wife's. Just uh, keep feeding him hot dogs. Everything will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Bogart. Bogart, yeah. Um, but no, it's really nice out here. It's really good. I wish you guys were here. I wish you guys were sitting here with us with a uh, cigar and a bourbon and uh, enjoying things like we are. Yes, it's warm. Yes, it's South Texas and it's July. In fact... Tomorrow, we celebrate our independence. We do. Yeah. Not not to date the podcast, but doggone it. Yeah, you're not supposed to, but you you're did. Not, I so. just did, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, we're going to yeah. lean into it now. We're going to lean into it. So, uh, happy birthday, America. Because? America. Because America. That's right. <laughs> That's right. What are you smoking, sir? I am, well, tonight it's a factory smoke by Drew Estates. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to... Uh, Get online and do my usual ordering. So um, these are just, you know, something I had laying in the the humidor. Yeah, so, yeah. But I mean, they're, they're good cigars. Sure, they are. They're sure. not high priced. They're not low priced. But, yeah. But they are good cigars. Good everyday smoke. That's why I have them. Yeah. I have I have my premiums from Southern Draw and other yeah. places. Absolutely. That, you know, special occasions. But you yeah, know, if it's a Tuesday and I'm just driving to Lowe's. Yeah. Yeah, it's a factory smoke by Drew Estates. There you go. There so. you go. Drew Estates is a pretty, they, they put out a pretty solid cigar. They do. And yeah. this is, you know, kind of their, their, I hate to say lower end, but it is. It's their everyday smoke. Yeah. 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 Yard gar. Yeah. Yard gar. Or car gar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you smoking? You know, um, I, uh, you know how much I love Southern Draw. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, this is one of their quick draws. Okay. And uh, you know how I love Southern Draw. Um, so, Robert, Sharon, love you guys. Uh, appreciate y'all very much. Y'all keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you were supposed to grab me a Jacobs, but... Yeah, well, uh, you know, 
What can I say? Did you? Uh, yeah, it was going to be a surprise for later, but oh, yeah, I did grab see? you with Jacobs. Yeah, see? yeah. You talk a big game, but you actually yeah. like me. Uh, I you don't kind of do. Let's not get all carried away. <laughs> Let's not get all carried away. <laughs> Anyhow, what's in your glass? You don't know, do you? No, I don't. You surprised me. I did surprise you. Yes, I, mean, I did. I hope it's not a urine test. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I tried it yet. How's how's my uh, 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 protein <laughs> levels there? <How's laughs> it, yeah. Let's give this a sip and see what happens. Yeah, whatever it is, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so um, <clears throat> this would be a good time to segue into what we're doing today on the podcast. Now, last podcast, we did... Scotch tastings. Yes. And we had a really... good episode. It was a good episode. What I remember. Yeah, me too. (laughs) Remember that Uber driver? He was hysterical. Um, No, I don't. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Not surprising. Uh, We had a very inexpensive scotch, and we had a very expensive scotch. And the question of the day was... Not very expensive. Well, but but for us. Higher priced. Yeah, for us. Yeah, what is it, like 80? Yeah, something like that. And so today we we have a very inexpensive bourbon, Mm -hmm. and then relatively... Expensive bourbon, yeah, and we're going to be doing the same same tasting that we did. And so, just as a preface, so glad we're at my house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my Uber ride is just right. It's there. just right there through that door. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, so, just as a preface, and and in the way of pregame, you guys know how we love to pregame. Um. We're uh, we're having a little taste of one of these. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I'd like to point out that we um we've been informed <clears throat> by um. Technically, our producer, yeah, or wannabe executive producer, yeah, exactly. That we should stop pre-gaming because all our best stuff is during the pre-game, and that our show stinks. Otherwise, isn't that what was said? I think that's what I, what I heard that we that's need what to I took from we it. need to ta- not talk until uh, till we get on the air. Till we get on the air. That's that's what I heard. Isn't that right, producer? Isn't that what you said? <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Boy, she's she's got us uh got us going in the right direction. She does. That's it. Yeah. We're like a we're like a, a Maytag washing machine, set it and forget it. That's mm. it. Just yeah. yeah. So, um anyway, we got a lot to talk about uh on the show. We got some we got some things uh we think you guys are gonna like and of course we're gonna do the bourbon tastings. Yeah. Uh but first we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, we are back. We're the Old Stogies, and this is the Old Stogies Uncut Podcast. And I'm Randithy. Yeah, it's still me. <laughs> and he is Shane Anigans. No, it's not a thing. <laughs> and we got, Who came up with that, anyway? Uh, well, I think that was me, uh, yeah, as a matter well, of fact. When, when we had our radio show, I think uh, I think that, uh, yeah. It should have died with a radio show. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that it should have. I think it's definitely a thing. Um, and there's plenty of Shane Anigans on today's show. How about that? See what I did there? Yeah, what are we talking about tonight? Uh, well, you know what? Uh, before we get into the bourbon tasting, right? Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about something I was reading this past week about cigar urban legends. Now, everybody knows what an urban legend is, mm-hmm. right? It's one of those things that gets repeated so often that people think it's real. And and yeah, they think it's true. Like they, the, they, the, the yeah. No shoes, no shirt, no service. Yeah, Don't get me yeah. started. Yeah, yeah. It, it just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the background of that. Yeah. Yeah, you're the one that told me the background of that. Yeah, there's yeah. no law there, people. Shut yeah. up. Yeah, I guess I should um, put my I'll, shoes on. I'll, huh? I'll stop. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> it's fine. So, yeah, I thought we'd talk a little bit about that because the uh, the little known facts, eh, Cliff Cape Clavin, uh, it's a little known Cliff fact Clavin. that, uh, you know, we did that a couple weeks ago, and, and mm-hmm. that was a big hit. We had a lot of comments about that, so... We're going to talk a little about cigar urban legends. Okay. So, <clears throat> I was reading about this guy. He was in North Carolina, and this is a number of years back. He bought a box of 25 very rare, very expensive cigars. Mm-hmm. And he was so proud of them that he had them insured. But he had them insured against fire. And, and so the company said, okay, well, if your house catches on fire, we sure don't want you to lose your cigars. And he said, great, boom, took out a big policy against fire on these very rare cigars. Mm-hmm. Well, a couple months later, he turned in a claim saying that these cigars were destroyed by a series of very small fires. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Yeah, you saw that yeah. one coming. Yeah. yeah. It went to court, and the judge found in his favor... You're kidding. I am not kidding you. The judge found in his favor saying the insurance company 
should have foreseen this and should have should have you know adjusted the policy accordingly that's the judge that's the judge equivalent of you're a dumbass yeah pretty much yeah pretty much the insurance company oh no but there's Mm -hmm. weight you're ready for the other shoe to drop okay so this is it a short period of time later the insurance company filed suit against this guy in north carolina claiming that he actually had started the fires and sued him for arson did they win? They won. He spent a year in jail. <laughs> for smoking cigars. For smoking cigars. Wow. For insurance fraud. No, that's great. <laughs> that's ingenious. Yeah. Great. Yeah. No, I love that. Uh, that was that was just hysterical. I, I, I thought it was, oh, yeah, yeah. The guy paid $15,000 for these cigars. And insurance Why? paid. Well, I, I, because they were... No, they were, no, that's back to our tasting tonight. I mean, yeah. just like last um, episode, you know, yeah. the, the the expense yeah. versus the quality. There's no cigar I'm going to buy that's... There's no box of cigars. I'll, I'll give him credit. There's no yeah. box of cigars. I'm going to spend $15,000. It, it was unreal. And actually, I was, I, was, I was not exactly right. There were 24 cigars. They found it. They, they found him guilty... And they sentenced him to 24 consecutive one-year prison terms for arson and insurance fraud. 24 One for every years. cigar. Yes. Which means he'll be out in eight, but still. Wow. <laughs> now, did that happen? I don't know, but it's an urban legend. It happened. It may have happened. It may have happened. That the, he was living with that little old lady that spilt hot coffee from McDonald's on herself. Probably so. Yeah. That's she that's probably exactly it was hot what happened. Yeah. Coffee. So we 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 all hear this about you know oh the cigars were rolled on the thighs of virgins. Mm-hmm. You know I mean they, we, they never specify the gender. No, not that we should in yeah. today's. Uh, well, we I probably should shouldn't. I'm but stop. <laughs> Yeah, or or the identification or whatever, you yeah. know. But but they say the uh, the thighs of virgins. Well, that that came about <clears throat> uh, by a South African cigar expert who um, visited Cuba, and he witnessed these uh, ladies that would take the cigar leaves before they rolled the cigars and would straighten them and get them ready and then lay them in their laps. Mm-hmm. They didn't actually roll the cigars there, but they laid the cigar leaves. Oh. Wow, yeah. Love Ooh, that how about neighbor. that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but 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 the the women were straightening and flattening the cigar leaves and laying them in their lap. And that's how the the myth of rolling on the thighs of virgins. And he he came back and he said, I challenge anyone, man or woman. Who put to put bunch tobacco on their thigh and roll a successful cigar? So it's all just horse hockey. Well, yeah, and the fact that that woman had three kids. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? Yeah, and, and yeah I mean, she's that, ro- that's an old saying, you know. Hey, my my wife, she's a virgin. She only had three kids. <laughs> I say, but you you've rolled cigars. Yes. You know how difficult it is to roll on a curved surface. Right. Yeah. 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 She wasn't happy about it either. Well, no, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh so <clears throat> wasn't my lap well i'm no. just saying it wasn't my thigh yeah that's good yeah that's good <clears throat> yeah the cigar tastes a little fuzzy mm-hmm. what? <laughs> so <clears throat> one more one more one more this was really funny so president grant okay uh after the civil war uh of course he was a famous general and he came and and became president right so um he was asked to speak at a graduation ceremony well back then you know 1870s uh, it was customary for uh, people, if, if, if you were to speak at a graduation ceremony or, or some other thing, it, to give you an honorarium, they give you a nice cigar. And uh, President Grant took the cigar from his friend. He said, wow, thank you very much. Here, have one of mine from a private collection. Well, the guy was so enthralled by having the cigar from President Grant, he put it away. He did not smoke it. Okay. Fast forward 100 years. Okay. This guy's great, great, great grandson, whoever, was going through a bunch of stuff, and he found this cigar with a note saying it came from President Grant. And he said, wow, that must be good. So he pulls the cigar out, and he lights it and gets about half an inch into it, and it explodes. Grant had given this guy an exploding cigar as a practical joke, and it played out 100 years later. That 
is classic. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So I did the same thing kind of not not 100 years to my mother. Yeah. She was like a two-pack-a-day smoker mm. of Winston's, right? So you had those little, you remember those? The, yeah, the yeah. Little, uh, the little loads that you, yeah, that you yeah. put in there? Yeah. So I would, I, I put one in one of her cigarettes. I, I, I took the pack. And I pulled out like the first three or four. Yeah. And uh, I put that load in, but I used a toothpick, so I shoved it down about halfway. Yeah. And then, you know, in like middle of the day, it's just a pow! <laughs> and she's sitting in the living room. And uh, she just lost her shit. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> she's just yelling at me and everything. I'm like 14. How did she know you did it? Okay, really? dumb question. Sorry. I was an only a, child. It was a stupid question. Yeah. <laughs> I was an only child. It was me or my father. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, so, it could have come from the factory that way, you know, yeah. like people finding a mouse and a Dr. Pepper. But yeah, the just... best part was, was she's like, did you do any other ones? I'm like, no, I didn't. I swear I didn't do any other <laughs> ones. And then I, the very next cigarette, it was shoved down a little bit farther. But she's like very apprehensively lighting that yeah, cigarette, yeah. you know. And she's like, okay, she's about a third through it. And here it comes again. Pow! And, I mean, she just lost it. She's looking at my dad like he should do something. He's like, you've met this kid. What the <laughs> hell is your problem? He's getting onto her. <laughs> so after two, though, is that how you got that scar? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, cool. Okay, that explains yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Beat yeah. me down with a clog. <laughs> a clog. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in the Midwest. It's the Midwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got you. I so. got you. <laughs> no, so... So anyway, I, I just I just thought those were great. Just did they really happen? Eh, I don't know, but they're a good story. You know what? You're really good at telling the story, and I don't think we've told it in an episode recently. I think yeah. maybe we might have done it early on. But I love it when somebody comes into the lounge and they ask, "Do you have any Cubans?" Yeah, and that's when you just kind of walk up and you stop, you put your feet shoulder width apart, you cross your arms, and you're like. Do like your dad with that little crooked finger. You're yeah. Like, Let me tell you a little story Let me tell about you a little Cubans. Story. Yeah. So yeah. why don't you tell that one real quick? That's kind of that's that's a very interesting story. I don't and, think people realize that one. And it's you know is it true? I kind of think it is because I have read it from several different sources. But uh, um, it, it, the story goes like this: <clears throat> in in the, in the sixties. Uh, before they they did the embargo of Cuba, where Kennedy, you were, Kennedy yeah, yeah, where you where you couldn't bring um, uh, imports in from Cuba, and they just weren't trading now, with them. I don't know if people realize that Kennedy, three days before he announced the embargo, yeah, he had his assistant go get what was it like five thousand twelve hundred twelve hundred cigars twelve hundred twelve hundred yeah they brought in yeah. they were his his special yeah. brand of cigar that he loved to smoke yeah so he yeah. had her get twelve hundred cigars and yeah. then three days later he's like hey no more cigars from and Cuba <laughs> we slammed the door and yeah, yeah all of that so <clears throat> what Cuba did um, of course the U S was one of the few companies that had the embargo um, so Cuba took their tobacco seeds mm -hmm. and they shipped them to Honduras, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, places like that. United States. United States. Uh, the seeds the, were okay. The, the seeds were seeds were okay and they, and they came in a roundabout way and and um, uh, so uh, which is where we get the Connecticut shade. Okay. Uh, tobacco which is actually grown in the shade which is why it's called Connecticut shade. Um, so and it's in put Connecticut. Put that underneath my deck. No, you really should. That yeah. would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. All right. I'm um, sorry. Go ahead. No, but but so they started they started growing the seeds in in middle middle America, Central America, middle America, Central America. They started growing the seeds. Same thing. Yeah, and it, it kind of worked in with the crops that were already there, and they kind of cross pollinated, and so in a roundabout way, all cigars are a bit incestually, but still somewhat Cuban. No, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I believe it's to be true. I, I kind of believe it to be true as well. Like I say, I've I've seen that you know in several places, and so kind of an urban legend, but uh, but still, it's kind of cool. So yeah, th that proves that presidents in the past were kind of sneaky too. I I'm think just so. Saying. I think so. Yeah. So you know, power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts. Absolute. Absolutely. So say it again. Uh, Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you kind of checked it up the first yeah, time. So yeah. Thank you. Thank, you thank you for again. pointing that out. <laughs> Some people thought maybe their speakers cut out, but no, I mean, no, appreciate we, you we clarifying where that came from. We hadn't even started the bourbon from. tasting yet, so <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll save the mess ups for later. Well, let's yeah. do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Speaking of bourbon tastings. Yeah. Let's get to that. Oh, we, we should. And we're going to do that. Yeah. 
we should probably take a quick little break. Let's do that. All right. We're going to be right back. All right. We are back. Um, for some reason, I'm the one that's bringing us back in because Randy is. Oh, yeah. you're back. Yeah. No, because you were. I thought you were in there doing the double shake in there in oh, the no. restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, cool story, bro, but yeah. no, no. Triple shake, and you know what they say. <laughs> I know what they say. No, that was another urban legend. No. <laughs> it's not. It happens all the time. All right, so here we are. Here We're we ready. are. I'm Randithy. I'm still Shane. Shane. Again. No, I mean... <laughs> I hated my name growing up. I hate it even more when you put Shane Nanigan on it. <laughs> so, oh, uh, that's great. So, <clears throat> guys, should I uh, quit drinking the drink I have now? You should probably, yeah, you should probably quit drinking that now. All right, one more. All right, one more. So, we're going to do a little bourbon tasting. We have a very inexpensive bourbon, and we have a relatively expensive bourbon. And the um, the point of this is to prove whether or not. Price makes a big difference, totally, somewhat, or not at all. Um, because uh, uh, typically, uh, Shane and I are probably mid-priced bourbon drinkers. I guess that's fair to say. I guess uh, it depends on your budget. We're midlands. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Normally, we're, we're $30 a bottle. Yeah. Yeah, I somewhere mean, we, in we, there. We drink way too much. Well, yeah, I'm not so, going to argue with that. Yeah, $100 yeah. a bottle. Nobody wants to spend $1,600 a month on weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, well, yeah. I mean, you're right, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. If I had that kind of money, I'd still be buying the cheap stuff. Uh, I guess I probably would be, too. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, we've got we've got two unmarked glasses here. Uh, they are neat, um, as is our procedure. We taste them neat first. Right. And then we... But then, go uh, ahead and tell them um, real quick about, briefly, how bourbon is made. Remember? Yes. So, uh, bourbon is indeed a whiskey, but the not US. all whiskeys are bourbon. Right. Yeah. They're made in the U.S. They are. Uh, they have to be 51% corn mash um, by by rule. Uh, it's not a law, I don't think, but by... by Handshake, gentleman's agreement, I don't know. But they have to be 51% corn in order to be called a bourbon. Right. And the name bourbon comes from the county in Kentucky, right? Bourbon County. No. Okay. Wasn't that the name of the French it was, king? It was the House of Bourbon, that the, the French king that helped the Americans in right. the Revolutionary War. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, they named that which county was, Bourbon County, which is, was in uh, Virginia. What, yeah, it was yeah. East Virginia. Now yeah. it's West, West Kentucky. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, West Virginia, not West Virginia, but Western Virginia, and now it's in Eastern Kentucky. We're going to have to Google Kentucky. a map. We're going to have we? to Google a map. We're not, we're not good at maps. Curtis, Curtis, call in. Curtis, call yeah, in, let Curtis. us know what, what, what's going on. Um, so um, that's, that's the story on bourbon as opposed to scotch, which a true scotch comes from Scotland. Right. And. That's the only way you can name it scotch is have it come from Scotland. Uh, by the book, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah political is. reasons, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So um, we've got we've got uh, bourbons today. Last time we did scotch, and, mm -hmm. and we're gonna eventually um, make our way through quite a few alcohols, uh, <laughs> uh, liquors. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. uh, not tonight. <laughs> oh, no, I, th I thought you meant tonight. Oh, no, no, eventually, eventually through our I, through I, our I was just gearing myself up. I no, was I got ready. you. I got you. I got you. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. So uh, what we've got is, is two cups. Uh, this is a blind taste test. One has Coke, one has Pepsi. I'll take the blue cup. Okay, you want the blue cup. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to let uh, Shane uh, taste one, give his reaction to it. And then taste the other one, give his reaction to it, and see if he can pick which one is the expensive one and which one is the not expensive one. I am going to fail miserably. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe it's back not. to the whole coleslaw thing. Uh, uh, maybe so. Maybe so. Yeah. So I want you to try that one right there. All now, right. this is neat. It's not rocks this because once you add water, the taste changes. It, well, it opens up the flavors a little it, bit more. It does. It All does. Right. So Here we go. All right. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Shane's taking his first taste. Ooh, and a little bit of burn in the nose. Is there? Yeah. Okay. That one's kind of stout. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it would be all right on the rocks, but I mean, neat. Yeah. It's a. It's a little much. 
little little overpowering. Yeah, you, you know when you <clears throat> when you exhale through your nose, mm. it just kind of ooh makes oh, your eyes okay. water a little bit. You gotcha. know that, that kind of gotcha. strength. Gotcha. Yeah. Some of that could be could be the neat, but but some that of could it be is, the neat. Is, could, I took too big a drink. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> you know, but I'm just saying. Well, I heard you over there doing. Glunk, 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 glunk. <laughs> yeah, it was a small cup. I couldn't believe that you were teasing me. <laughs> Okay, so that is bourbon number. One. I do like it. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I mean, it's bourbon. It's dude. bourbon. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't like it. No, it's never gonna. It's that's not gonna never, happen, is it? No, yeah, this is bourbon number two. So, let's hear your thoughts on what you think about bourbon number two. Oh, much smoother. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you like that better. I think it's a trick. I think it's the same thing. Do you? No, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. No, Ooh, much smoother. That would be a great trick. Yeah. Much smoother. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to, I'm not a big fan of that uh, hints and notes and all that stuff, but yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find them. Yeah. Let me <clears throat> take a, another. Take another drink. <laughs> take another taste. <laughs> well, you know, that's what we do. There's almost... And it could be way off. I mean, everybody has their own yeah. palate. Um, that one has a little bit more. I don't even know what's possible when it comes to bourbon, but yeah, more fruity. Really? Yeah. Huh. So, or I mean, in a good maybe way. It's softer. Yeah, in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Is there? <laughs> I, don't know. I, I don't know. But mm-hmm. uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean. I like the second one when it comes to neat. Do you? I really do. Okay. Which one do you think pairs better with your cigar? Uh, definitely the second one. Definitely the second one. But I'm I'm, I'm smoking a like a Habano. Right yeah. Now, okay. So. so it's a little more, little uh, bolder bodied cigar. Right. And we we've we've talked about this where people say if you're gonna have a a stout cigar, yeah. you need a stout bourbon, Scotch, wine, whatever. Right. And I'm kind of the opposite side. Yeah. I like if you're having a stout bourbon, you have a light cigar. Yeah. If you have a stout cigar, you have a lighter. You know, if I'm smoking a Jacobs by Southern Draw, yeah, um, Devil's River, which yeah. is a very nice, very light, light yes, bourbon, um, is something that I really like. I like the contrast, right? But people are different, right? So, and, and we've said that a hundred times. It depends on your palate and your mm-hmm. taste, mm-hmm. and what you like. So, I'm going to try now. I'm going to. I'm going to. You don't have the Rona. Hmm? You don't have the Rona. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to let you mix the cups up, and I was going to try them. Okay. Or we can get two new cups, and I can try them. Whatever you want to do. I don't uh, care. No, if, if, if you're good, because, you know, Rona's only transferred by ear hair. Oh, okay. Um, well, so that's good. Go ahead. Okay. Turn so, around. All right. Turned around. Uh, what a beautiful evening out here, man. I mean, the sky is gorgeous, and there's a cat sleeping on the banister rail. And All right. Uh, it's you just you can turn back around. All right. That okay. was getting annoying. Turn back around now. All right. So, <clears throat> I'm going to try this one first. All right. That's, okay. that's the blue cup. This is the blue cup. Mm-hmm. Well, I can tell by your face. It's got a little burn to it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Kind of through the nose burn. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and oh, in wait, the mouth and down the throat. Um, it's... Um, it's got a little burn to it. I'm thinking you're right about... I may like that one better on the rocks. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, um, there, there might be more flavors that we're not experiencing. That, that's kind of maybe what I'm thinking too. Mm-hmm. It's it's a little harsh. Yeah. Um, um, it's. I mean, I've had worse when it comes to like burnt barrel taste. Yes. Um, I, I can't remember the name of it, and I don't want to put that out there and you know hurt somebody's business. But yeah, there was a bourbon I had one time. It was on sale. I mean, I'm cheap. Yeah. But yeah, it was like every drink you took. Yeah. It was like, you know, chewing on an ember out oh, of the fire. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was just that bad. And I'm like, eh, we'll put Coke in it. Didn't, Didn't help. help. Didn't yeah. help. Tastes like burnt Coke then. Yeah, yeah. burnt Coke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> burnt Diet Coke. <laughs> that's all we have here. Uh, yeah. 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 I, I, I'm not a fan of those either. The the bottle of bourbon that you buy with the with the stick in it that that's supposed to give it that charred oak flavor. Yeah. Pretty much Too that's much all charred. you taste. I yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't like it either. So let me taste this second one here. Because I'm intrigued now. It's the blue cup, by the way. Mm. 
The second one is much better. Mm -hmm. It's got the burn you would expect with a neat. Sure. Um, but it's much smoother going down. Do you get the fruit? I don't get the fruit. I get more um, caramel and um, a little okay. bit, a little bit of oak, but mainly I get caramel hmm. out of that. It, it's it's very smooth. No, uh, it, it, it's a good one. I I think I could actually drink the second one neat. Actually, and I don't know if this is people can disagree all they want. Of the two, the uh, the stouter one. I think would probably taste better on the rocks, and we're going to find out here in a minute. I think it would taste better on the rocks because you're going to take those flavors and you're going to kind of subdue them and open them up at the same time. Does that make sense? I agree. No, I, I, so I, I totally think agree with what you're saying. The, the smoother one that's neat, I don't know if on the rocks it's going <clears> to <throat> improve it. Any. I, I don't know either. In fact, it, it, it may lose some of its, yeah, some it's of its flavor. pizzazz. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did the hands too. I saw the hands. Yeah, 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 it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So pizzazz with jazz hands. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. No, uh, maybe on the rocks. Maybe um, I like the the uh the other one, the stouter one better. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. So um that's our that's our impressions neat of these two bourbons and, and we're forming an opinion as to which is which, but we haven't arrived there yet. No. True. So, Which is different than the last show, because yes. the last show we did, we, we told everybody up front what they were. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of holding that back this time. Right. Yeah. I, I, I gather that. Yeah, since I haven't said it. That's yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, why don't we get a bowl of ice, and let's ice these. Bowl of ice? Bowl of ice, yeah. And let's ice these and give it two or three minutes to get a little water mixed with it, and then we'll try them again and see what we think. All right. Okay, great. We'll be so, right back. Y'all right. don't go away. We've got a lot of show left. And we are back. Thank you guys for sticking around. We still got some show left here. You guys have hey! been... Hey! Yeah, Shane's no, been scared. tasting uh, while during the break, <laughs> and so, um, yeah. So Okay, so we've taken our bourbons that we've been tasting neat. We put them on ice, and we are going to taste them again and see if the ice... Uh, right here. Sorry, guys. Looking for a lighter. Yeah. So we are going to see how the taste changes, slash opens up, slash goes to shit, whatever. Um, I actually kind of think that uh, that more uh, uh, more stout one, I think it's going to open up nicely. You think so? I think so. All right. Well, let's find out because uh, Am I, I, first? Have, I have one of them here. Um <laughs> That I've been swirling in ice now for three or four minutes, which is about what it needs. So as you get, when you get done playing with fire over there, just uh, our, our lighter needs fluid. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> All right. So there you go. We so, don't know which one this is. Nope. So give that one a try. It's the one in the blue cup. It's That's the one in the down. blue cup. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know okay. if people have realized that they're both in blue cups. There, we have so two just, blue cups here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just kind so, of having fun here. Yeah. Give that a try. All right. We'll see what he thinks with the bourbon on the rocks. Uh, that's the more stout one. Is it? It's definitely the more stout one, but I like it. Do you? I mean, that's that's a good level of stout. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I like that. I like that a lot. How did the little bit of water um, do for you? Did it? Did it's, it subdued the burn. Yeah. Um, did it open up any flavor you didn't get with it neat? You know, I'm not a big flavor guy. I mean, I have a hard time kind of picking that stuff out. But, yeah. um, hmm, one, one more drink. Okay. All right. One more drink. Everybody knew he was going to say that, right? So, <laughs> yeah. I still taste the, the char. Okay. But it's, I don't know. I don't know how to equate it. Um, I guess the best way to equate it is uh, being a former cigarette smoker. Yeah. All right. One thing I like about cigars, and yeah. I, I am one of those few that still inhale cigars right. every once in a while. Yeah. But I like that throat burn. Okay. You know, when yeah. it comes to taking a drag off a cigar, I don't inhale every drag off a cigar. Right. I've noticed that. Yeah. But I like that throat burn. Um, 
and I think that's why I like that one. There's just that little bit of kick, you know. It's yeah. like it, it's just enough to let me know that, hey, you're alive. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 You know? That's like the Corona thing. Yeah. Do you have muscle pain? I'm like, dude, I'm almost fifty. <laughs> muscle pain is how I know yeah. I'm alive. Everything hurts. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. And you're what? Seventy-two. So. Yeah. 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 More or less. We, good thing we put that lift on the steps. Yeah, it really is a good thing. I like that <laughs> elevator. It's a little slow. Yeah. You know, you know. Yeah. Aren't but, we all? Uh, well, <laughs> okay. So here's the, here's the blue cup. So try the blue cup. Okay. See what you think that. It, this is, this is the uh, bourbon on rocks uh, to see what it does to the flavors. Mm. Mm. That one's got good flavors. Yeah. I like the flavors of that. That's really, really nice. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not stout. There's no kick in the back of the throat. Okay. Mm. It's it's a uh, very smooth. Yeah. But yeah, the 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 now I taste the caramel. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. I still kinda get that little hint of fruit. Um maybe I'm just, you know, craving a watermelon. Yeah, I don't maybe know. Maybe so. Maybe so. But uh yeah, no, that's good. Oh, cool. I, I really like that one on ice. I mean, the second one is probably my favorite when it comes to on the rocks. Just just rocks. Yeah. What what about, uh, let's say we mix these. Uh, do you think the first one would go better with a mixer or the second one with a mixer or both? or? Oh, I've always been of the belief if you're going to mix bourbon yeah. with, like, Coke, is yeah. that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. go with the cheap stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, too. I mean, I can tell you stories about that, but, I mean, if you're going to if you're gonna mix it, go with the cheap stuff yeah. because the Coke's going to kill most of the flavor and taste anyway. True, true, true. Um, but, yeah, whether it be Coke or Sprite or soda or whatever mm-hmm. you're whatever you're going with there, so... Okay, so so what? Which one is your winner there? The the, uh, the one in the blue one. cup or the one in the blue second cup? One. The second one. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. The blue cup. All right, got you. Well, I'm gonna turn mine back and uh, man, look at that sky. That's a beautiful sky. You guys should really be out here with us. Uh, in fact, we're gonna tell you later in the show how we can make that possible and how you can come on our show and do a taste testing with us. Ooh, that would be awesome. Wouldn't that be great? I mean, you have to supply the bourbon, though. Well, I mean, yeah, whoever absolutely. it is. I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah. We'll have all of you if you bring the bourbon. I'm just saying. Okay, so my turn here? Yeah, okay. they're, they're ready to go. All right. Uh, well, no, no, no. Not that one? No, nope. first okay. blue cup. The first blue cup. All right, okay. All right, so let's, let's give this a shot. That one tastes really nice. It's great radio. Yeah, there, that is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that uh, that one is really nice. I I like that. I, mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm getting maybe a, just a little, a little burn. But like you say, it reminds you that you're alive. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to have another one of those. All right. Well. You talk now. Um, Randy's drinking again. Mm. Which is what we all said during his intervention. That, uh, that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> the last one. Okay, gotcha. That that um, the water on that one. I'm I'm tasting um, that classic bourbon taste mm-hmm. in that one. There's very very little burn, but there is a little bit of burn there. I mean, the water opened that one up so much. It's right. like it's like. Eight foot French doors. That one just opened right up. Um, I'm not kidding. That one um, is is really nice. So let's go with the second one. Let's see what happens right. with the second. So one. the the other blue cup. Yeah, the other blue cup. Did you eat pizza before we start doing this? Because nope. there's like a nope. piece nope. of nope. pizza crust in this nope. one. I'm I don't know how that got there. Okay. Okay. So the rocks in that one really punched that caramel taste forward. Didn't it? Yeah. It really oh, punched it. I'm like leaning into telling you what it is. <laughs> no, but no. no it, it really punched that caramel taste forward. And the, the finish on that is very, very good. Um, it, it, it's funny because I'm assuming that I tasted them in the same order that I did before. And I'm getting just a slight burn in that one that I didn't get before. Really? You're yeah. You're burn in that Yeah, one. yeah. Uh, well, on the rocks, which is which is interesting. But I... I I'm telling you, just like you said, on the rocks, either one of those is incredibly drinkable. Yeah. So I like them. I so. Like them. So, do you want to know what they are? Yeah. Well, I'd love to. I mean. Okay. So, 
Um, I'd like to know which one I'm keeping tonight. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I want to know. Because so, you got the expensive scotch in the last episode. I, I, I so. did get the expensive, but only because you liked the cheaper scotch better. I did. I yeah. Did. I like yeah. the cheaper scotch better. So the first one that we tried, the first one that you tried, uh, and I don't know how you mixed them up. You may have kept them in the same order. I don't know. All right. First one. The first one that you tried is a, um, uh, it, 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 it was the inexpensive one. Yeah. It's a C.B. Jackson. I've had that before. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it was uh, like 18 bucks. Yeah, 20 tops. Yeah, yeah. Very, very inexpensive bourbon. Um, but, uh, you know, on the rocks, it's very drinkable. It's very it drinkable. It is. I think it's better on the rocks than neat. I agree. I agree. Neat, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, it seemed to me to have a, a, a that burn that mm-hmm. you were talking about. Yeah. And and maybe maybe a little excessive, mm-hmm. Not so much. Yeah. So the second one that I gave you, uh, and I'm, I'm starting to understand maybe you gave them to me in the same order, uh, but the second one that I gave to you was a Basil Hayden. Ooh. Yes. Nice. Yeah. And nice. and it it was nice. Yeah. Um. Um. I'll tell you what. What's that? If it came down to it, yeah. and I was walking in the liquor store, and it was a uh, payday, yeah, and uh, I'd probably go with CB Jackson. Really? Yeah, because I mean, nine chances out of ten, I'm gonna drink it on the rocks. Yeah, but yeah, you know, I got other bills to pay. No, I understand. I understand. No. The, the the Basil Hayden for the same size bottle, right, uh, goes for about thirty eight. So you're looking at a little over twice the price. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably go with the the cheaper bottle myself. Yeah. yeah. Myself. Now, if you know, had a few extra dollars, somebody died in the family and left me some money. Yeah, you know, I'll go with the Basil Hayden. Ah, there you go. Blow that inheritance yeah. on bourbon. <laughs> right. Yeah, I like that. Right. <laughs> Kids college fund, whatever it is. Whatever it um, is. However it shows up. Yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, I I'm I'm kind of inclined to go with you there. Uh, because once you get them on the rocks, the difference between the tastes to so me minimal. It, it's minimal. Yeah, it it, it really is. Um, yeah. The uh, the Basil Hayden, uh, which has a reputation for being a beautiful bourbon, it, it is um, a good bourbon. It, Don't it, get me it's, wrong, it's a great bourbon. Uh, and and neat. If you're going to drink neat, basil is your guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. I th- I think so. Definitely, no, definitely. I but agree. If, if you're going to rocks or if you're mixing, I think the Jackson is. Well, if you're mixing, come on. Yeah, yeah. Fighting cock, Evan Williams. I mean, you might as well just yeah. Go four with roses, that. whatever. It doesn't. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. It yeah. doesn't matter. But um, um, I I don't think there's as big a difference between them as the price would suggest. What do right. you think? No, I, I I totally agree. You agree with that? Totally agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Okay, so, you know, this is the second show that we've kind of dispelled the myth that maybe the more expensive bourbons are maybe worth it, but perhaps not. Maybe it, you know, it depends what you got in your bank account, I suppose. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's, that's where it all lands. I mean, honestly, I mean, I love the $100 bourbon. Oh, yeah. I do love You've the $100. drank $100 bourbon? Huh? You've drank $100 bourbon? Not as far as my wife knows. Okay. <laughs> We'll keep that yeah. to yeah. We'll keep but I'm that just saying, she's okay. the one I got to yeah. explain that to no, I when I'm buying hundred dollar yeah. bourbon. I got you. Yeah, I got you. You're drinking two bottles of those a week. Yeah, I mean you can't. Yeah, no. Stop. No, no. Yeah, no. get cheaper bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So. But uh, no, I'm I'm I think I'm a fan of both of them. Yeah. And I I've never I had never tasted the Jackson before. Oh, you haven't? No, I have never tasted the Jackson before. Uh, actually, we've had it in the lounge. Have we? Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll, I'll retract that statement. That's okay. So, but but the uh, the basil I've had before. Have you? Yeah, and and so to to compare them side by side like that is is uh, I'm like wow I'm I'm blown away. Hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. It is good stuff. So good we've stuff. decided that the uh, the bourbon in the blue cup is the one that we like. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Right. I agree wholeheartedly. wholeheartedly. Sounds great. Yeah. So listen, uh, tell a little about this. Uh, if people want to taste test with us, uh, how, Ooh, that, how would they I do that? I just thought of this while I was in the restroom. <laughs> Stop. That's, that's, that immediately takes the idea quality down four notches. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, if you guys want to come online or, I mean, come on the show and do a taste test with us. Yes. We are all for it. Oh, Just hit us up on our Facebook page. Man. Absolutely. I mean, if you're in South Texas and you want to do a taste testing. Yes. I mean, even if we're calling it a taste testing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Give us a call. You, I mean, you supply. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll halfway supply. Uh, seriously, hit, a, hit us up on the Facebook. Old Stogie Company. Yeah. Yeah. And let's and, uh, do this. Well, let's do this thing. Yeah, I think it'd be yeah. great. I think it, it'd be great. It could be a lot of fun. Uh, and, and in fact, what are we going to taste next? Let's do rye. Next time okay. we're on, or ne next show that we do a taste test, we're going to do rye whiskey. Let's do vodka, too. Because, okay. I mean, there's no flavor in that. We'll no, just, not really. Yeah, not how's really. that taste? Like the first one? Yeah, like the first one. <laughs> yeah, it all tastes like nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but next I've time. I've lost hearing in my left eye. <laughs> 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 but, but next time we're on, next time we do a taste test, we're going to do rye whiskey. So if, if you want to taste some rye whiskey with us, some not expensive and some expensive, Mm -hmm. uh, hit us up. We'll pick one of you guys to come on the show with us. Yeah. And um, could be fun. Could be fun. So we, we could do it out here on my big deck. Yeah. Still said it correctly. Still said it correctly. Yeah. I'm, I'm so proud. Everybody was worried. Yeah, I know I was. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, I, I could say it correctly. I just can't autocorrect it. Oh, true. Correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's probably yeah. a good thing. Yeah. You know. Is your truck still for sale? <laughs> my truck is for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Inside joke. Yeah, kind of an inside joke. We'll 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 make it an outside joke soon. Yeah, but but not right now. No. Uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah, we'd love to do that with you guys. We we enjoy hearing from you guys. We enjoy hearing from listeners, and and uh, we'd love to have one of you guys on the show. Yeah. So, so uh, rumor has it that we have a website. What is we that? We do. Yeah. What is that all about? Oh, it's nothing. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what do you mean it's nothing? Yeah, there's nothing there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, it's got some pretty pictures, a couple of colorful words. Yeah, nothing. we got, we got Shane's face uh, yeah. photoshopped on on top of Putin riding a horse. You know, it's Ooh. beautiful. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. yeah, I like Putin. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, no, we do have an online store where we sell cigars. We do, and and rumor has it that they're one of the least expensive cigars on the internet. We are the least expensive cigars on the. Interwebs? Is interwebs. that what you called it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, on the interwebs. Yeah. The the least yeah. expensive. Absolutely. So I was gonna say least cheapest, but that kinda Yeah, that's kind of a yeah, different oxymoron. I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. But no, the least expensive, um, online. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, hit us up. I yeah. mean, check it out. I check mean check it out. This is the best um anti corona way to shop is uh, online. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So you, you order a box of cigars. If you're not sure what you like, let us know. We'll make some recommendations to you. You order a box of cars, and they are shipped directly to you. To you? Yeah. Not to your neighbor? No, not at all. I don't know why I had to Why would we that. do that? Yeah. That's, that's, um, <laughs> we, we changed the number just for the fun of it. Yeah. Because yeah, we're wild and crazy guys. <laughs> okay, Steve Martin. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you can do that. We also have uh, like uh, merch. Merch. We've got humidors. Hats, shirts. Yes. Uh, humidors. Um, we have ashtrays. We, we do. Have lighters. We have everything you need to set up your stogie space. Yes. Oh, yeah. Good word. Oh, thank you. I think I came up with it. But I, I think mean, you I, did I, too. Yeah. You know, yeah. That was months ago. That was months ago. But it's still just as good. Yeah. Yeah. So is this your dog here or is this a neighbor's dog? Oh, that one's mine. Okay. Does he bite? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> he, he's like you, though. He's old. He's half deaf and blind. So, I mean. Who said that? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's fine. He's fine. But seriously, go by our, our, our website. What's that web address again? Uh, Company. Dot com. You make fun of me because I say the Facebook, and you say www. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just making. I'm I'm just catering to the lowest common denominator. Uh, right okay, there. you say it so I understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, no, guys, oh, I've enjoyed this. Yeah, this was yeah. fun. This was fun. Listen, stop by the Facebook, and hit us up on the Facebook page. 
And uh, you could be sitting here with us tasting rye whiskey. So before we go, we should yeah. probably let our audience, <laughs> which is which is a very big dog, <laughs> who just decided to lose it. <laughs> wow. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's the big laugh. <laughs> yeah, I think he, so. I he did want to be on the podcast. I think he wants to taste the rye whiskey, yeah. This message brought to you by Sir Marks a lot. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, wow, that, that was, was uncalled for. <laughs> it was uh, It was interesting. He sounded a lot like us. <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> so... Uh, how about we let our audience say hello real quick? Oh, let's do that. Let's let the audience say hello. Bogey's still saying hello from the inside. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Thank you. That was my wife, Jill. And here's our executive producer, my wife. Hiya. Yeah, that was Laura. That was uh, that was my beautiful wife, who's um, from time to time uh, is our executive producer. So we appreciate her. Only when we're doing something wrong. Yeah. It's the yeah. only time she gets on. She also does all the still photos uh, of the podcast. If you want to see still photos of us recording this show, tune into the Facebook after this show drops. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. So great show. Um, <laughs> the dogs have kind of thrown us off. Dude, what's wrong with your dog? Mm, I, don't know. I don't know. What up, dog? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we had a good time. Uh, Enjoyed it. Yeah, we uh, we. Told I can't some wait to taste the the more expensive one. And now, how are we splitting them this time? Well, uh, you know, just like last time, I'm going to give you first choice. It's all good. Really? Yeah. All right, I'll take the fuller one. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it's easier to do. Ah, perfect. I like that idea. Yeah, yeah. they're both the yeah. same proof, so I just yeah, take the fuller whatever, one. whatever. Yeah. So listen, I uh, appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. <laughs> You're not gonna, yeah, you're not yeah. going to give me hell about that? No. No, I'd like to point out that during the breaks, Randy still talks into the microphone. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I am a consummate professional. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would like to give a quick shout out to uh, my three kids. We just did a podcast over the weekend. Cool. Nice. Last weekend. Yeah. Um, my youngest son is um, in the Air Force. Congratulations. That's yeah, awesome. He's in California, and yeah. he's studying um, Russian. So he, nice. he's very good at Russian. So yeah. the four of us decided to get together yeah. and uh, we did a podcast cool. just for him, yeah. sent it to him. So I just want to give a shout out to uh, Jeffrey, Greasy, and Drew. You know, just, hey guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Love you. Yeah. Your kids are great. Yeah. Your kids are great. And, and, and Jeffy, thank you for your service. Appreciate that. So uh, listen, I, I guess that's it for the Stogies tonight. Uh, check us out on the Facebook. Go to our website, oldstogiecompany.com, and look for the Mobile Cigar Lounge uh, coming soon to an area near you. And remember, smoke them if you got them. And we got them. See you next time. Have a good night. Shut up and sit down. Old Stogie's Uncut, brought to you by Old Stogie Company and produced by 705 Designs. I don't, I I don't know what that means. Song. I hate this fucking song. None of it makes sense. Yeah, I, who's that? Is that Seal? Yeah. Oh. Not the guy you would want to do your acne commercial. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, really. You ever had a kiss from a rose, Shane? I'm just wondering. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, mean I think his name is Rose. Was he? Was he? <laughs> <laughs> the light hits the gloom. That's that's on the gray. On the gray. That's that's uh, magical. Yeah. That's 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 lyrical. It really I don't is. know why we're recording this. I'm not why? sure either. Why? I, we're not going to use it for shit. We could. No, we're not. This is good radio. It's not radio. <laughs> <laughs>
my pain. Sing it, Shane. Yeah, you can't drop the song. Sorry. When it snows, my eyes become larger. What is what is that? Huh? When it snows, my eyes become larger. It's it darker. Is that what? No, I don't know. I'm just. Uh, I'm just. I don't. I'm, I don't understand. My wife said it's when he snorts cocaine. Oh, when it snows, I got it. So it's a drug song. I got you. So was Heidi Klum really married to this guy? Okay, just wondering. I wonder if her eyes got big when it snowed, too. I don't know. I think her eyes got big, but it wasn't for when it snows. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is good stuff. No, I, is... I'm not being racist. I'm just saying. No, no. Kissed by a rose on the gray. What does that mean to you, Shane? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I, I, I'm out. I have nothing either. Nothing. I don't know why we're recording it. You know we're going to get banned for copyright infringement here, right? Because this is this is um... again. I don't know <laughs> why we are recording this. <laughs> This is, uh, again, it's good radio. <laughs> Compared to what? <laughs> Compared to our normal show. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, all right. Good point, good point, good point. Baby! Baby! <laughs> That's the only part we know. So we, we did uh, an episode of this for my son in uh, California. Yeah. In the uh, Air Force. Yeah. And so, yeah. It, it, it was fun for him. Yeah. I don't think this is appropriate for our show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so either. But the riffing of it is perfect. Yeah. 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 I mean, we, we're riffing this is great. Now that your rose is in bloom. Yeah. So there's yeah. probably going to be a random point where I just stop the recording. 